Hey, what's up guys? It's Covert Gold here and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make clothing on Roblox. So let's not waste any time and get right into the clothing design. Okay, so now we've transitioned to Google to do the first step in the entire process. I would personally suggest getting software to actually design clothes. And I don't mean paying for software like Photoshop or something. Those tools work amazingly well. But I would suggest starting off with paint.net. Now you could also just opt for using, um, you know, some sort of online editing platform. But I just feel that paint.net is the best free tool out there for those aspiring clothing designers who just want to make clothes and not pay any money. So let me just show you guys how to install paint.net, paint.net. Uh, just search that up. And this is the website that you have to go to, get paint.net. Click on that and just click on this link here. Get it now, free download. I'm not gonna do this because I've already installed paint.net. It's just gonna ask you to do a few things like next, you know, the usual stuff and just install paint.net and I'll see you guys when you've installed that. Now, I'm assuming you've installed paint.net or are using some other type of software to edit pictures or photos. So you just need to go to that link in the description below. This is the Roblox developer wiki. And you're just going to grab these templates which are provided to you by Roblox themselves, okay? So this is the template for making shirts and this is the template for making pants. Now, all you need to do to download this is right click, save as, and just put this somewhere like on your desktop so you guys can actually find it when we're in paint.net. And just do the same thing for the shirt template. Okay, now we've actually opened up paint.net and I actually went ahead and just opened up the shirt template. The way you would do this is by going up to file, open, okay, and just find that file on your PC. You just click on that and press open, okay? Um, now, here is this shirt template. I just need to break down a few things before you guys can actually get to actually, you know, designing your own clothing. By the way, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm only going to be using a shirt template. Um, but the same principles apply to the pants template, okay? It's just pretty much the same thing. Now, um, this here is the template, obviously. There are two distinct areas, okay? Now, I'm not talking about this area here and this area here, okay? I'm talking about the areas which actually have the sort of templates drawn up on them, okay, with these letters, which actually correspond to these images right here. So if you ever get lost, these are the images that you need to actually look at to know where you're drawing, okay? And I'm also referring to this area here. So um, pretty much everywhere where there are no, um, you know, template items. So where I'm drawing right now, that's the other area that I'm talking about, okay? So I'm talking, just to recap, about the areas where the template items are. So wherever you have something like this with text, okay? That's the template area. And wherever you have something which does not contain that text, so uh, what I've drawn here, okay? That's the second area that I'm referring to. Now, wherever I'm drawing right now, Roblox doesn't care about that area, okay? so. If I draw something here, um, it won't show up on your shirt template or your pants template, okay? It will not show up at all, which is why uh, clothing designers usually put some sort of custom, um, you know, watermarks over here or, uh, you know, just something cool, that, like as a watermark pretty much, okay? Roblox will only pay attention to this right here, okay? So you got part one over here and these two parts. That's what Roblox will actually pay attention to. So if I try and publish the shirt now, like upload the shirt, it'll come up with all these weird, you know, lines that I just drew. But if I draw something here, nothing will come up, okay? Now, let me just undo everything. The first step, or the, the, like one of the actually, like the most important things that I suggest you actually go ahead and download, um, to use is shaders, okay? So like shading, essentially. Not those Minecraft shaders, just shading for clothing. I'll show you guys in a second on the screen now. Um, but pretty much these are things which you actually use, which are made by other people for you to use, so you won't have to do them yourself. 
Now, as you get better, you can actually make these yourself. However, when you're just starting out, I, I'm assuming you don't have the skill to make them yourself. So that's why you should just go on Google, type up uh, Roblox clothing shaders or something like that, and just use one of those and just paste them in your uh, paint.net like I'm about to do now. And just to make sure, guys, just make sure that the, uh, the image you're downloading actually has a transparent background. Okay, that's like crucial. Now, to make your lives even easier, I'm just going to provide a link for this image. So this image that you're seeing right now on the screen in the description below, just go download that, come back and open this up on paint.net so you have an actual shader template, okay? Now, assuming you've actually put the shading on your clothing, okay, um, you can actually start to manipulate a few things. So, um, let me teach you just a few basic concepts which you're gonna need on paint.net to actually design clothes. So, click on the background, these are layers, okay? Click on the background layer, click on this, properties, and decrease the opacity. So that's just going to increase and decrease the transparency like this, okay? You do not want to upload this um, when it's at full uh, opacity. Why? Because, uh, you know, let me just put that all the way up again. You see these words like R, front, down, up, back, L? Um, that's gonna show up on your avatar, obviously, because this is just there to indicate where things are, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color in these areas really quickly, just to show you guys, okay? And uh, I'll be back. and we're back okay just in case you were wondering how i was actually able to fill these out just click on this selection box pick a color you guys want select an area and press backspace and that's how you fill in an area okay now i'm not here to teach you, teach you guys how to actually use paint.net um that's up to you guys to actually learn about however um let me just do a few things re real quick okay i am just going to paste an image here okay uh, just to show you guys how this would look on Roblox. Okay, guys, so all I did, I went on Google, I found my favorite hat on Roblox, just an image of that, a transparent image of that, and all I'm going to do is create a new layer like this, move it up at the very top, and edit, paste, and here we go. Okay, that's my favorite hat on Roblox. Now, I'm going to press down shift, click and hold, Move it down until it reaches the desired size. Okay, so something like this. I'm going to put it at the back of the shirt. And that's like pretty basic shirt if you ask me, but this is just for the purposes of this tutorial. Now, once you're done, you just want to select the top layer, okay? And press this button until it becomes one layer. And if that happens, just undo, so control Z and just uh, remove the background layer because we forgot to remove this. This is that layer that I was talking about which actually shows you where stuff is. You could keep it because it's not obstructing the, this area. As I said, this, these areas here are ignored. So I'm just gonna keep that and I'm going to merge, okay? And then I'm just going to file, save as, and just save that on my PC. Okay guys, so then just go to Roblox Click on this create button and just click on shirts. And now here's the annoying step. You actually need a bit of Robux to actually upload shirts. Okay, now just somehow acquire 10 Robux and just click this button right here, okay? And find your template. Let me just do that right now. I just found my file guys and I named this shirt tutorial template. I'm just going to click on this button right here and click confirm. Okay, now here's my shirt. Okay, that's how you make shirts on Roblox. If you want to sell this, you have to go to the configure button right here. And I am not sure if you need Roblox premium to sell the shirts. Um, however, 
Just click on the sales button here. I think you do need Roblox Premium to actually sell the shirts. So click on this item for sale toggle button here and put it up for any price you guys want. I'm just going to put this up for five Robux and I'm going to click save. And that, guys, is how you make clothing on Roblox. The same applies for pants. You obviously just click pants instead of shirts uh, where applicable and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave suggestions in the comment section down below about what videos I should make. And I'll see you guys next time.